never really put them on paper and stuff like that. But it's, but it's different horses for courses, if you can understand. You do it for a reason here. Yeah, so that's obviously how it's come off the animal. So you had to take that way. Yeah. So his back leg, his rump are at this end, and his shoulders are at this end. So it's about controlling the fleece from a rump and a shoulder. And you're not to let go of that first handful the moment you pick it up. So always have a nice little area. So small areas. So these are my two points. I push together. Being our cracker, it's, it's a lot tenderer than a, a sheep fleece. So you sort of got to handle it with a bit of care. So push together. I'm just, I've still got hold of it and I'm just using my fingers. I'm pulling it back on itself. I'll step back and I'll scoop the remainder up. So now when I throw it, I'm going to hold on to that first handful and let out the neck. So if you want to come over here. Because she wants it cut side down. That's right. So all, all the, second fall the sand, the sand <laughs> fall out. So it's about throwing up and out, but being our packer, you don't throw it too far too quick, otherwise it will split. Holding on to that first handful. That's basically it. And then you can go around and get what you choose to get out. So all these seconds are really now, that's why they have a table so they have the slats in them there. Mm -hmm. So the seconds So you can get your... your you can see they're already... You know, yep. and everything out. But yeah. Bits and no, I think you can really, it. by putting it up that way, you can see all your medulated fibre anyway, yep. straight away. Mm -hmm. Like if you look around, right around the edge, mm -hmm. like this way you can't really, you know, see it. You, you know, if you turn this over, no, you've done yeah, a great job here. Yeah, but you've got to turn it up to be able to see, see. them, where if it's like this, it happens in seconds. So you really could yep. skirt around that quite easily. To and quickly. Yeah. I mean, fair enough, what? As Kevin said, horses for courses, and you know that the judging's done slightly different here for your show places. It's about wanting it like that, compact. I mean, I know how Lisa puts them in the bags; they're they're still compact. Mm. And like you've explained to me, the judge gets it and they tip it, and it just yep. turns itself inside out. And there's reasons why you do it that way. But yeah. So when they're finished with the fleece, it's really not a fleece, is it? No. And the judges the are finished here? with it. They right. just do this? Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. Really, yeah. the work you do here is pre presentation. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the judge gets it and he wants to see what you've hidden. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or you haven't. Oh, taken yeah, it pops up like this and they start this bit and they start, they'll pull a sample from here, they'll pull a sample from here, and the next person, the person putting the fleece back in the bag is <laughs> not necessarily somebody that's handled fleece. So they just, they just grab it up it. like this and roll it and stuff it in the bag. Yeah. Is there a towel? Get that first but <laughs> I throw my shelf too. Yes, I mean, yeah. I saw you <laughs> flipping them out the other day. Yep. But it's no, no simpler than. So there's your towel. Like a bed spread's the best thing. Yep. You're making your bed. So there's your fleece. Once again, you make it into a nice small area. Gather it down. A lot of people do this straight away. They fold that bottom side in. So now when you go to throw the fleece, it's not going to, it'll, when it lands, it's going to land on top of itself. So if you can get the idea of just pulling it in and keeping this area flat, you'll do a lot better. So once again, push in, scoop, scoop. And then when you throw it, you throw it up and out. So it's just practicing with the bedspread. That's how I learned to throw a fleece. No word of a lie. But mm -hmm. uh, like it just go a bit a little bit further for say for trip and that if they threw a lot of the fleeces I'd get rid of the you know, the, the seconds you know, I'm talking about, the fleeces the that you know, it doesn't take a second. Mm -hmm. And then when you you know, selling the product they know the person who's buying that it's free of that it's, yeah. mm -hmm. free of contamination. You know, if you go straight off the floor mm -hmm. There's no well, way not necessarily, possible. you know, like everybody's good at, you know, getting stuff off the floor either, you know, it's a learning thing. Mm -hmm. But there's no way possible yeah. getting all those bits yeah. and pieces, second cuts and stuff out. 
Yeah, yeah, well, there's always going to be, no matter what you do. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. But you've got a chance if you put it on the table. A, but, uh, it's a, it's yeah. fast.